Hi guys, welcome back to Bookish Brits. I'm here today to open Love Month. If you've been following Bookish Brits from the start or have caught up on our archives, then you'll know that every year we do a themed fortnight of videos. But this year, to make it slightly different, we're actually going to stretch those videos out across a month and we're also inviting you to take part. Yes, you. It's sort of creepy, as I just made it sound. Um, all we are asking you to do is to film a video um, talking about a bookish thing that you love. Now, I have plenty of suggestions for you, so um, if you have a look down in the description box, you'll find a link to a page telling you everything you need to know about the Love Month, and we'll perform for you to fill in if you want to take part. Um, so if you want to have a guest vlog on this channel, do look down in the description box for that link once you've finished watching my video, of course. <laughs> so, I'm going to talk to you today about why I love reading children's books. Now, first of all, I want to define children's books. I don't mean teen fiction, YA. I mean books from zero to twelve, I guess. I think that's really like the cut off. I mean that covers like children's picture books and um, early reading stuff and then moving on to middle grade or 9 to 12 category. I love it. I actually hadn't read any children's books for quite a few years really, except for a few rereads of some old favourites like Matilda and Harriet the Spy and Alice in Wonderland because I just love all those books and have kept reading them over and over into adulthood. Um, generally I wasn't looking out for new children's books to read, I was pretty much set that I liked YA and I liked adult fiction and I didn't really have any interest in the younger age categories anymore. But within the last couple of years I've broadened my perspective, this is partly down to my book club um, because we quite often read um, middle grade books because um, we're very busy people with jobs and adult lives and so it's quite good for us to read middle grade books sometimes as they're quick to read and more of us can read them before we meet. Um, and also this is just partly because there have been some really fantastic um, books of children coming out and they've received more promotion than they have before. Uh, I just wasn't aware really before of the wonderful range of children's books that were being published today. So I've really got into reading children's books and so I thought I would give you three reasons why I love children's fiction. Number one, they remind me of being a child. Now, I wasn't the best child. I love being an adult. I didn't really like being a child generally. I am much happier as an adult because I like making my own choices, I like choosing my job, I like having money to spend of my own, I like rum cocktails. <laughs> but, you know, that being said, there are some things I really loved about being a child. I loved all the time that you had in the school holidays, I loved that I could spend my weekends reading if my parents didn't have any other plans for me. I loved going to the library and the excitement of going into the children's section, picking up a book, all these wonderful titles with brightly coloured covers or grisly monsters drawn on the front. I loved it. And there's something about reading children's books which really sends me back to that place of reading a book and loving it and getting drawn into the story and forgetting everything else. I mean, this is the experience I have with YA and adult books as well, but children's books just really send me back to a time when, you know, it was simpler. It, my life was just about my family and going to school and reading books and it's kind of a nice, it's a nice feeling, even though, like I say, I much prefer being an adult to ever being a child. Um, it just has that, it just has that, induces that kind of warmth in me. The second one is that children's books have great baddies. Now, I love morally ambiguous heroes and grey areas as much as the next Holly Black fan, but in children's books, 
everything is a lot simpler um at least in the end you know there might be some greyness at first and there might be a mystery but the children always have suspicions and you know that intuitively they know who the bad guy is and those bad guys are fantastic think umbridge for instance as a perfect example you just hate her all the way through and sometimes you just really want to hate a villain but in why in adult books you know the the author's often concerned with giving the, you know the baddies more dimensions uh, reasons for doing what they're doing and you know in kids books they can have that too but they're often just so wonderfully hateable and I adore it. Number three is childish confidence. I love the confidence with which some child characters stride through the world. Think Lyra in His Dark Materials, think um, Daisy in Murder Most Unladylike. Just these wonderful fantastic children who are just very self-assured and they don't have the doubts that we have as adults and I think that's lovely and inspiring and you know they can get into all sorts of trouble but they always get out of it in the end so it's kind of a way of like exploring our fantasies about doing whatever we want but in a kind of safe environment because they're a child so they don't have the consequences that we have to deal with and that can be inspiring because often as an adult even though the consequences are not going to hurt us we can still be afraid of doing what we really want. So seeing a child heroine going boldly on and making the most out of an adventure, it's just wonderful. So let me know in the comments what you love about children's books if you read children's books. Were you a big reader as a child or how have you been discovering uh, wonderful books thanks to recommendations as an adult? Um, let me know. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Bookish Brits if you haven't already and please 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 consider taking part in Love Month. It doesn't matter if you have never made a YouTube video before, it doesn't matter if you've been making YouTube videos for years, we would love to have you on the channel so do check out that link in the description box below. Okay, thank you for watching. You'll see me in a couple of weeks. Bye!